Today in this video, we are going to fix max 30100 sensor issue and learn to DIY pulse oximeter using Arduino. You might have faced no red LED light working even after following proper pin connection and program code. Or you might have faced initializing pulse oximeter failed or initializing max 30100 sensor was not found. Please check the wiring or power. If you see these errors on your serial monitor and want to learn how to fix them, then you are at the right place. So here we are going to fix max 30100 sensor issues and DIY pulse oximeter using Arduino microcontroller. This video is brought to you by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is one stop solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencil, PCB assembly, and all. Currently, they are offering 10 pieces of 2 layer PCB at just $5. So, get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB instant code tab, then click on the quick order PCB. Now upload your Gerber file and place an order. So without doing further delay, let's dive into this project. There is no issue with the code and Arduino pin connection. I am sure you have already verified the max 30100 pin connection with Arduino and they are in a proper order. You also might have tried different example code. So there is a small build problem with max 30100 sensor PCB. If you closely see into the board, you will see three pull up registers connected to a 1.8 volt pin of voltage regulator for a pull up. But our microcontrollers are 5 volt or 3.3 volt based. So these pull up registers are not making STA and SCL data lines neither pull up nor pull down. Because of this connection, the data which is sent from the sensor to the microcontroller is corrupted and we are getting the error responses like initializing pulse oximeter fail, initializing max 30100 was not found please check the wiring or power. It happens because the sensor can't communicate with the microcontroller. This will never receive a command to read the pulse and oxygen level. So the red LED will never glow. Now I think you understood the real problem. So what should be the solution for this? Well, the solution is very simple. We just need to connect these pull up registers to the 3.3 volt network and there are two methods to do this. In a first method, we just need to cut the line where pull up register is connected to 1.8 volt voltage regulator pin and connect this pull up register with a 3.3 volt pin of the second voltage regulator. And we are going to use a small jumper. You don't have to connect all the registers because all three registers are internally connected on the PCB as you can see here clearly. In the second method, you simply remove these three registers and connect an external 4.7 kilo ohm register on a breadboard. And you don't have to cut the PCB line here. After successfully completing any of these ways, you can connect to an, any microcontroller and upload the code to test the system. This is the program code for pulse oximeter using Arduino and max 30100 sensor. We have used some important libraries in the code. You need to install them in your Arduino IDE. Now simply select the correct board and its COM port from the tools menu and upload the code to your Arduino board. After successful upload of this program, 
it's time to test our freshly built pulse oximeter using Arduino. The circuit is assembled on a small breadboard. It perfectly displays the data on the display. When you place your finger on the sensor, it detects bits and starts measuring the pulse and SpO2 levels. Here you can see my heartbeat rate and SpO2 level in percentage. When this sensor detects heartbeat, the little heart animation get changes. When the pulse rate is not detected, the OLED screen will show you to place your finger on the sensor. And when you place your finger on the sensor, it detects your pulse rate and start measuring the SpO2 levels. I have followed both the ways with two different sensors to demonstrate that both sensors are working fine and they are giving accurate heart rate and SpO2 data seamlessly as shown here. So that's all about Max 30100 sensor troubleshooting for you. We have successfully fixed this sensor and DIY pulse oximeter project using Arduino. I hope this video helped you to solve your problem. If you are facing any other issues, just comment down below. See you soon on the next video.